F that. Like, let's have a bit of local. Oh. Durston Fletcher. Get Gherkin. From Bristol with love. From Bristol with love. Dot WordPress. Dot com. I tell you what else, fucking, it doesn't take much for her to make me angry either. Julie Burchill. My God. You know, like... Which one's Julie Burchill? She writes for The Independent, uh, and she just, like, sort of... Is she back, from Bristol? Up, she said she's from Bristol. Right, she's my mum like, fucking hates her. Like, yeah. she used to write for The NME. That's it, And yeah. she wrote... she come down... she come down to Bristol for punk gigs, and she said about... Um, she, uh, she wrote, Oh, if, uh... You know, if you go to a, a club in Bristol ask a girl for a mirror they think you're doing your makeup and she she means can i have a mirror for taking drugs because she's a druggie yeah she wrote something around the 26 or around the stokes cross she's stokes croft she basically said that, my yeah. mum was livid like oh uh, she said i'm the real real voice of bristol because my fucking mum was a cleaner and my dad was something else she hadn't even fucking lived in bristol for 30 years right and um, and she was saying these fucking scum. It was all liberals and it was all fucking middle class Trotskyists. It's like, were you there, you dappy cow? <laughs> Jesus Christ! And now she's written this one. Didn't have the bollocks to fucking take on the argument about the rioters because obviously she sort of part supports them, apart doesn't. So all she talked about was the liberal reaction to it and how the liberals loved it when it was in the poor areas, but as soon as it started to get into the richer areas, they all freaked out fucking starky too where's your fucking evidence for that you know like what the fuck that's just your fucking prejudices fucking what the swear count's gone off the roof the, yeah, the box is going to be bulging gonna with like money I am man. sorry to Durston's mother and um, to my mother if she ever listens to this my god she's god. She'll, give, she'll give me one of her raised eyebrows I'll Facebook it to her <laughs> <laughs> me and me and Dick was in the pub the other night and we got chatting to this bird and she was saying, I can't even remember how we got onto it. Like, but she was saying about the the writer Julie Birchall. Like, and she was saying that she was at her house one night, and they were doing a load of coke. Uh, apparently, Julie's a big coke head, like. Apparently, apparently, this is what this woman. This said. what this bird said. We, you know, that's our source. Uh, and what's what's source for the goose is source for the gander as well. So, <laughs> and Julie loves a gander at the old nose bag. That, that, that's what we've heard. That's what we've heard. Allegedly, there we go. We're safe. Um, this bird in the pub said mm. she was doing coke round uh, Julie's house, and it was in the kitchen or something. Kitchenette, I think she said. Yeah, and uh, anyway, relevance, isn't it? So they'd gone back in, or Julie had gone back into the kitchen yeah. to get the coke that was on the mirror in there, and as she'd gone in. There was a rat by the on the mirror by the coke light. Yeah. So Julie runs over to save the fucking coke light from a rat. What it was, she she said that like um, she got freaked because she yeah. was buzzing basically, and the rat's there, and the rat's freaked as well. But the rat sort of cornered a little bit, and so she says, "Right, I'm gonna fucking." Rather than backing off, I'm going to go at it. You know, like fucking project strength at the rat basically, and f- like get rid of it. And so the rat runs off, but the rat runs off into a corner, and then she advances on said vermin and backs into the corner even more. And so the rat's cornered, literally, literally, not metaphorically, <laughs> literally cornered. And so it comes out fighting. It fucking gives her a little growl like rats do when they're freaked out. And um, so she's freaked out now. It's like a fucking psychological battle between the two of them. And then what she does is basically she says, fuck this. No, I've got, I've got to deal with this. I've got to deal with this. And so she goes full on psychic attack on the rat and goes like that. And the rat fucking freaks like that and then just freezes like that. And what she's done is she's freaked the rat out so much in the corner, it's had a fucking heart attack and died. She didn't, because the bird said to me that she didn't freeze it, it just went like, I'm doing the hand motion of four legs and then upside down four legs. Yeah. So it, it's it, like standing, then flopped like that, upside down. It keeled. Yeah. Anyway, that that cruel bitch <laughs> fucking gave a rat a fucking heart attack. Fuck. She's there in a fucking independent column, and acting like the big I am, criticizing mm-hmm. fucking good old Bristol women. If you listened to the show before, you know <laughs> you criticize Bristol women for, for saying they were silly and stupid. Well, Just, at least half of them, I'd, well, hopefully more than half, haven't fucking given a rat a heart attack. Yeah, a lot more. I don't, I don't know of anyone who's given a rat a heart attack. I'd say it's less than zero point zero one percent. I'd say so too. Yeah. Yeah, but well, then, you know. stick that in your column, Birchill. S- stick that up your nose and sniff it, you yeah. bloody druggie. See what happens. Allegedly, uh, this allegedly. is what this woman said in the pub. This is what the woman in the pub said, so it must be Simulous. true.